So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, a three-way here or a tri-tool. This one has your essentials. Definitely recommend it for home. All right, so to start off for replacing brake pads, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this area, which is my quick release. It's grazing these two brake arms together. Get this little lever to flap down. This one flapped down pretty easily using that noodle to manipulate angle and then knock that free. Once we got that open, then we can go ahead and address our brake pad. So typically a five millimeter tool. And once you start loosening this up, be aware once you're ready to take it completely apart, we're gonna have um, a series of washers and conical and concave washers as well. So maybe take a pitcher or do one side at a time because there's gonna be a particular order. There's gonna be thin and thick um, style spacers. So when you get that correct, so just be aware. And if, as you turn to unloosen, if your brake pad moves, you're gonna to have to brace it with your finger to counter it. Crack that free. Maybe get that nice and loose. Put my tool down. And there's gonna be quite a bit of bolts on this side. It's gonna be one, two, three, four on this side. One, two, three, pretty typical on the inside. So right in this area here, we have our nut, which is actually a pretty long nut, a real thin washer, a wide concave. And then on the inside is another washer. So one, two, three, and then the actual bolt itself. And then on the inside, we're gonna have uh, one, two, three as well. So just get ready to catch everything. And the way I have my hand here, I'm cupping. So if anything drops, it'll fall right in my palm. So I'm gonna loosen this. So you, you can let that sit there, put it somewhere in the good. And then we got a washer, so everything just fell. And then we got another one. And then two pieces here. And then I'm gonna tilt the brake pad downward, bringing it out. And then I'm gonna have one, two, three more spacers and washers right there. So here we got a set of washers that are sitting on the outside. So we have our, our locking bolt right there. And then we got, uh, it's a conical and concave washer. So this sits inside, it's kind of sits like it's a bowl. So it's actually acting like a swivel. So it allows that brake to really move around and get a proper adjustment. And then we got a flat washer right there. So a series of one, two, three, four sitting on the outside. That's the first contact you're gonna have. And then once you get the brake pad off of the arm, we have the brake pad itself. And then again, two matching conical concave washers and swivel system. This one swivels as well. So this comes apart, that sits inside there and looks like we got one thin washer. This one may or may not, you may not see this uh, on other ones, but this one has it. So one, two, three on the inside. Once it's on, back onto the arm on the bike, then we got one, two, three, four to go on the outside. And the brake shoe itself, it is directional. If you notice, we got a short section here and then a longer section over on this side. So pretty typical that the longer section is gonna point back towards the bike. So this is the front towards the front of the bike. This would be towards the rear of the bike. And this goes for both sides. But you can look for identification on it. It might have some writing here. It might say R or L. Um, but there's also a curvature to this guy too. Kind of does one of these. So the curvature is kind of sitting just like that. And that's gonna follow the shape of the rim. So there's a lot of different signs to help you figure things out. If I flip this around, it's now kind of curving upward. So that would be incorrect. Usually it's always gonna be curving downward left and right side, front and rear. If someone just threw all the washers at you and you didn't know what was what, um, here's the orientation. Um, doesn't matter which, which way we do this, but you can place the pad down. Uh, if you are working with these pads, just make sure the surface area is clean. It's not greasy or anything. A little bit of dirt on the hands, not a big deal. You can always clean this with some isopropyl alcohol, hit it with a light sandpaper, uh, get a nice clean surface going again. But back down here. So if you run into that problem where you just can't connect, most likely if you didn't touch anything else, the washer, the thickness of that spacer uh, washer is, is backwards, should be taller one should be on the outside and the shorter one should be over on the inside. So we're gonna swap those. 
So these brake pads are pretty much left and right specific. Um, so the curvature, again, actually we have the short section here. Short section is gonna be always pointing towards the front. The longer length of the pad is always gonna be facing towards the rear of the bike. So this thicker or taller one it needs to go away. We're gonna take those two out as a unit and then we're gonna put the short one in place. That's the short one like the bowl and then this one is gonna fit right inside it and back onto the brake arm. Mm -hmm. 